today we're going to take a look at a brand new style urn we've got in here. We're going to call it the coral uh, urn because of the texture on the front of it here, and I'll show you a close-up view of this later on. Um, the texture that it has, I'll tell you how they, how they do that. It's over glaze, actually layers of glaze, uh, and it causes it to bubble, and then they'll take a grinder and grind down that bubble. What that does is reveal the uh, layers of glaze underneath, so you got different colors kind of showing through there. So that's something new. Never seen that before. Uh, it's kind of limited right now in the styles of urns. I think this is the largest one available that way. And some of them are going to have a little more, uh, a little more, uh, we'll call it craters, I guess, in there than, than some of the others. Uh, plumes out the top. Be a beautiful uh, urn at night because of the way the light's going to shine on it. It's going to bring out these different colors. I have a feeling at night that's going to be really pretty. Of course, always we can put an internal light Inside, I'm going to get the camera and show you up close on this particular urn. Apologize for a shaky camera, but I'm moving it around here. And I wanted to get up close. It's a bright, sunny day here today, so the colors might wash out a little bit. You can see up close there, you'll see reds and browns and greens and blues and teals. Uh, there's all kinds of colors within this jar. There's the plume at the top. You kind of see the styling on the rim. Just a beautiful, I was excited when I saw these. Something new, something uh, with these colors, uh, the way that it reveals it out through there. And the colors come out more when it's wet. So when it's dry, the colors don't come out quite as much. On this back side here, you can't see it in the video because we're going around to the shadow part, but it is kind of a, uh, a darker here in the back than it is on the front there. 